Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Abaddon 3 The Warborn. Man, it's about time. Um, if you've been following my Let's Plays um, of the first two games, maybe, um, or my, my channel in general, you might have noticed that it took me a while to start this, but... Um, yeah, now I finally have the time, I got lots of other stuff out of the way, so let's jump right back into it. Well, back into it back into the series. It's not been that long since I played Abaddon 2. Uh, unlike that long pause in between the first and second game. Anyway, um, well I've been thinking about what class to play and I actually I kind of like the Tinker Mage class. The thing is um, I, I already know that uh, Kalida is going to return, so uh, she's going to be a, one of the companion choices, and I kind of liked her, uh, and I would like to, you know, have her in my party again for old times' sake, basically, even though I, I'm pretty sure we're not playing the same character, uh, like, canon-wise, as we did in the second game. I mean, I guess if we look at the ending of the second game, that's kind of not even possible. So, um, so they don't know Kalia, but, well, I as a player do. So I'm not gonna pick a Blademaster myself, because I don't want to have two of the same class in my party just to have some variety. Um, well, as for other characters that return, I'm not sure if I saw any when I played uh, played this game very briefly um, for a quick first impression kind of deal um, I don't know if we are gonna see oh actually actually you know what I think we saw God what's what's her name um, the very eager young sorceress from Everdon one. So I think I want to not play a sorcerer either to uh, leave room for her. Honestly, the only well, not only do I have I have I grown to enjoy the Tinker Mage quite a bit as a class, but Harmon Harmon Quest, huh? It's actually kind of funny. Um, uh, anyway, um, yeah, but but I also the only uh, Tinker Mage NPC that I know of that I know so far is Alcander, and I don't like that guy, so even if he makes a return, um, I wouldn't be too sorry to pass him up once more. So um, I guess Tinker Mage it is again. I would like to mix it up a little bit and maybe pick Shadow Walker, uh, but no. No, no. Let's, let's be uh, Tinker Mage again. Same name too. I don't know. Let's consider this an alternate timeline. Maybe. Or I could... Hmm... You know what? Tinker Mage... Maybe a female Tinker Mage. And I'm gonna give her my standard female main character name. Ayali. That's a name I've been using for even longer than Atanjuro, I think. For all kinds of characters. In all kinds of games. Um, normal difficulty should be fine. Right. You are a hand of Abaddon, a mighty warrior trusted to defend the Pact. The Pact is an alliance of five nations, banded together for safety. The Farlands, enemies of the Pact, surrounded on all sides. These are nations of barbarians, raiders, titans, faded, jealous empires, all waiting for a sign of weakness. Huh. So that's very similar to the, uh, to the situation as it was, like, at the beginning and during all of Abaddon 2. Hmm. So not much has changed, huh? The Pact had one purpose, survival by crushing the Farlands and keeping them weak and divided. The Alliance functioned for centuries. Then the Age of Chaos began. The Farlands banded together and attacked in unison, pouring over the border and inflicting enormous devastation. For three years you have fought to hold back the hordes. Armies have fallen, cities have burned. Oh, so I... okay. I guess that was the situation until three years ago when it started to really... Uh, go downhill. Once the pack be once the pack being this weak would be unthinkable. The pact had a protector determined to root out 
those who would weaken it, Avedon, the Black Fortress. Warriors of Avedon, such as you, watched over the five nations of the Pact. When anyone acted to harm the peace and tranquility of the Pact, Avedon destroyed them. Its power was without limit. Its word was law. Avedon has watched over the Pact for three centuries. Its warriors wield the finest weapons. Its wizards are allowed to learn the most powerful spells. And the Keeper of the Black Fortress, Redbeard, directs, directed them all. Then Avedon was nearly destroyed in a surprise attack. Its warriors were hunted down. Redbeard was driven out. Without Avedon's guidance and protection, the Pact struggled, uh, struggles to stay strong and unified. Oh, it's a nice little piece of artwork here. Um, you're one of th those few fighting to help Avedon survive. You are a hand of Avedon, a warrior and enforcer. Your authority is almost without limit. Your word is law. You are in one of the most violent lands. You are on the border with Chimeria, one of the farlands, full of stone fortresses and brutal warriors. You hunt the hostile Chimerians as best you can, without reinforcements, supplies or guidance from Avedon. Hmm, that doesn't sound so good. You have just woken up in your quarters. You are stationed in Camp Nightshade, one of Avedon's few remaining small fortresses on the border of the enemy farlands. You are bruised and exhausted from constant patrols and skirmishes, but rest is unlikely. It is time to rise and receive your orders for the day, risking all to hold back the unending waves of invaders. Nice. Oh, what? Two achievements? Out of the nest? And I can use this. Okay. What? What are those? Out of the nest, I guess, is for starting the game? Uh, I can use what? Uh, the symbol it showed, I don't know if that, that probably didn't get recorded. Um, the symbol that it showed was... Oops. Um, that of clicking an interactable object. Oh. Well, okay, first things first. You roll out of bed, ready for another day of war. As a hand, you have a lot of freedom. You can scout, you can grab some soldiers and raid a Chimerian settlement. You can even check in with your commander and see if she has guidance for you. You haven't received orders, let alone supplies or reinforcements, from Avedon in months. Your job is to do all you can with what little you have. Fair enough. As you wake up and your vision unblurs, you see that someone left something for you in the night. It's a rare pleasant surprise. Someone finally brought you the new cloak you've been trying to get. It is waiting for you on the table to the north. Okay. Tutorial, maybe? No? Oh, and the, the game saved. Ah, stand near the cloak on the table. Hit G. Ah, right, yeah. So... Um... Well, between... The first and the second game in the series, there wasn't really a lot uh, or lots of changes in terms of interface. Uh, there are quite a few, or well, a, a few valuable improvements uh, between the second and third game. Uh, we're going to take a more detailed look at those in a moment. Uh, so the cloak is an awkward fit. Uh, it's an awkward fit, but the cloak will uh, prepare you for a harsh Camarian winter. Time to go out and look for something to do. Yes, nobody is watching you now, but one day you might have to answer for Avedon, to Avedon for your actions. Or lack of them. Right. So, uh, one of the things to, which uh, reminded me of that, of that little fact, uh, is that there are now these much easier to... Uh, or much nicer looking, much easier to click uh, tabs for ground and junk bag. Um, they still have slots for uh, scarabs. A lot more quick use items. Yeah, also a lot more uh, slots in general. That's that's really maybe the the best improvement. Double the number, and these can be used for either items or spells. So I could restrict myself to maybe two items and having six spells at the same time or skills. That's gonna help for sure. So we gotta let's actually take a look here. Okay. Oh, press these buttons uh, to use items. Yeah. Surprisingly, more supplies have been left for you. A flask sits on a nearby table. The shape of the flask identifies it as one of uh, Hansazi's healing brews. Two pieces of new equipment in one day? Unheard of. There is a storeroom to the east. It's been mostly empty for months. Who knows, maybe something handy was, has appeared overnight. Get the potion. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Oops. 
Uh, I guess I can put it here. Yeah, that's how it works. Sweet. Speaking of which, that's. Huh. I wonder. Yeah, well, scrolling is still kind of a problem. I mean, accidentally scrolling by, you know, moving the mouse too close to the edge. Uh, this is what I meant to do. Bolt flinger. And I guess while we're while we have plenty of room, I might as well put that one down. Speaking of which, that's inventory. Right. Uh, razor disc is for me, of course. These aren't worth anything. Wait, they are. This one is not. Uh, although I guess I'm gonna take them with me for the time being. Maybe I'll encounter some party members sometime soon. You can use them. Right, so this is also um, has been overhauled. So it's not one big tree of interconnected skills, but it's a bit more split up, which I'm okay with. I will take a more detailed look at the individual skills as I level up and actually get some points to spend there. Um, stats seem to be largely the same. Still have our specializations. Okay. Right. Um, didn't it say that there were some other items? No, I guess not. This one can't be clicked. I wonder if they if they put a secret button right in the first, literally in the first area of the game, but doesn't look like it. Okay, let's step outside. Were you? Do you? Oh, Torch. As you emerge into the chilly morning, you see Torch hobble toward you. You don't know his real name since you arrived in Camp, Nitch Camp Nightshade. Everyone's only ever called him Torch. He's not a hand of Avedon, just a packed soldier assigned to defend this Avedon outpost. He's been here for a long time, and he has the scars to show it. He's too old and damaged to be sent out on most patrols. He's usually here at home, helping out. He waves at you as you approach. Hail, Ayali. Just coming out with the news of the day. Actual surprise today. Really? Um. <laughs> More bad news? No news at all. A lot of action on the front of on the front to the west. I, I hear, but it's all quiet in their in their parts. You mean in these parts? I'm just here to send you to Commander Ceres. Wants you to see her. In, wants you to see her in person today. Uh, is that bad news? Not for me. He laughs. I just try to keep the commander from noticing from noticing me. It's how I'm still alive instead of just broken down. I guess I should be going then. Torch turns slowly, wincing when his weight lands on his right leg. Ah, old wounds are hurting. You move on ahead. I'll hobble behind. I'm sure you want to hurry and get your guidance. Okay, I have a quest. Um, by the way, why do they call you Torch? He seems saddened by the question. Ah, Camp Marion Village attacked pack travelers a decade back. I was part of the punishment team. Went into the village. Pretty poor there. Their buildings were mostly wood. I had to get their attention. Got my nickname because of that. He shakes his head. Hope you have a better day than that. Oh, have to go. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh... Didn't mean to reawaken old, old uh, pain, old wounds, whatever. Click. Oh, that was a secret thing. I wonder what that opened. That's kind of obvious, though. I mean. At least I think so. Sure, I'll take those. Bad rolls, blankets. <laughs> I mean, for role playing reasons, I should take a bad roll and a blanket, I guess. But eh, I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I need a lockpick to open that. Makes sense. That's gonna open. But seriously though, what? What did that thing? Oh, never mind. 
It's all the way over here. Um, it's in there. Scroll of Lightning. Okay. Well, sure. I'm going to take that. Not the greatest secret in the world, but... It's better than nothing. This... Okay, this is locked, and it needs a key. Well, this looks, looks pretty abandoned and run down. Also, the game is really quiet, isn't it? Oh, that's not the right, right button to press. Whoops. Um, I mean, I guess there is little music. There's always been little music. And uh, sound effects seem fine. I did put this the game volume to uh, quiet because the on normal setting the intro music on the on the title screen uh, seemed pretty loud. Potion of battle, yes, please. And uh, candle that's not really useful. I don't think I I found a single use for. Uh, for a lighting item in the second in the entire second game. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what those items are even good for. Nightshade Information Center. It's not where I'm supposed to go. But of course I'm gonna explore. That's just what I do. Information Center. Eye of Evadon and Hand Charon? Charon? You meet a hand of Avedon. Um The young sorcerer, still t still a teenager, judging by his face, is dressed in a fine fashion. His uh, shoulders, his shoulder is carefully embroidered with Avedon's symbol, with two small white letters N B underneath. He greets you with a broad smile and an eager handshake. Greetings. You must be Ayali. I'm new to camp. My name is Charon. His lack of scars and clean new clothes must mean he's fresh to the war also. Um, what do you do here? Whatever I, I Audun wants, you should speak with him. He's in here somewhere. He's very good at conscripting anyone who gets within reach. Uh, nice robes. Thanks. Gifts from my parents. They wanted to make sure I stayed warm and dry, so I have more than I need. Do you need any clothes? Pants, perhaps? I have plenty. Uh, sure, I can always use more pants. He beams at you as you thank him, clearly pleased to be able to share. Let's see what we have. Charon takes you to his large personal chest. It's full of new clothes, sweaters, socks, tunics, and many pairs of pants. His family looks after him well. Here you go. Charon hands you a pair of fine leather pants, free of mud stains and patches over the knees. Um, are you a new hand? His cheek turns red. Yes, this is my first assignment. I've only trained until now. I'll make Avedon proud. Count on it. Ah, uh, the boundless enthusiasm of youthful inexperience. You remember it well. Well, at least I remember it well. That means it's not been that long since I felt it myself, maybe? Um, what does the NB stand for? Northbrow. It's an outfit shop my parents own back home. Good stuff. Soft and breathable yet strong. Uh, breath breathable yet strong. And warm when you need to be warm and cool when you need to be cool. He holds out his sleeve and encourages you to feel the material, which you do. He would make a good salesman. Huh, maybe... That would have been a wiser career choice for a variety of reasons, but, you know. After it starts to feel awkward, you stop. Charon clearly does not mind you pro you uh, pawing at him. Um, where is home, actually? Calendarial. My parents have a home in the, capel uh, in the capital, but I mostly grew up on our farm with my grandparents. Why didn't you live with your parents? He frowns. It was for the best. They were busy running and running our business, Northbrow, the finest of Kellum tailors. Travelers uh, come from all over the continent to buy our goods. He shrugs and a smile returns to his face. I have no complaints. The farm was great. Plenty of fresh air, good food and playtime when when not with my tutors. You had private tutors? Sounds expensive. He looks down shyly. My family's business has made us wealthy. Magical training is expensive. I've been lucky to get everything I could want. I realize most are not so fortunate. Yeah, I guess not, but it's clearly not your fault. 
So, uh, yeah. Okay, I guess that was it. Nice. I wonder if he's gonna be a party member, actually. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, you don't want to talk to us? Talk to me. Camaria. Uh, I guess I'm gonna handle this like I did in the first uh, and second game, actually, and not read these codex entries or journal entries out loud because that's just gonna take a while. If you're interested, you can just pause the video and, uh, yeah. Actually, he did give us leather greaves, not just pants. Nice. So that was well worth it. That was gonna be. Go to the trash bin. No, the junk junk bag actually. More lore and experience. Uh, the Age of Chaos. There. Actually, I want to read that as well, but. Not on video, of course. Uh, this box is full of old records, forgotten crumbling scrolls, most dating from a decade ago or more. Pretty useless. You do find something interesting buried in the pile. It's a rusty iron key on a leather thong. You take it. Huh. Curious. Might that be for one of those locked doors I've already encountered? That would be kind of random, but who knows. Yeah, let's not steal from our own base. At least not stuff that's marked as being not mine. Uh, the Pact. Okay. Right. There we go. This must be... no. Just N.I.? Who are you? Oh, you're I. Odun, actually. Okay. You drop in to see I. Odun, one of the few eyes of Avedon permanently stationed here. Eyes are spies, sages, and commanders, and they are far less numerous than hands. Odun is also unique. He is a native of Svorgald, a faraway island of savage sailors and raiders. He bears the tattoos and scars of a member of that particular farland. Now he is a loyal and jovial servant of the Pact. He walks up and claps you on the arm. Greetings, Ayali. Busy time, yes? Feel and air, yes? Less spying, more fighting. Less for me, more for you. You wait for you wait for Undoon to send you out to gather some fresh intelligence, as he does every single time he sees you. Uh, I'd like to know more about the Svorgali. Svorgali is a farland enemy, yes, my enemy now. Sad, but it is. Would tell you one time the tale of my being here. It is long tale of drama. Um, describe the Svorgali. People of sea, fierce raiders. We are born and die in water. Jolly fighters may be foolish at times. Too foolish, yes? Our life was raiding the rich was raiding the rich lands of Pact. Now in this age of chaos, old ways are new again. Um I'd like to hear your story. Ah, but as I say, story is long and I must concentrate on scrolls. Much is happening. Cerise tells me Avedon orders many maps. Must be ready, yes? Don't displease Keeper, yes? Avedon gave you orders? Yes. Message came today. Need sets of maps, troop movements, something happening in Camaria, this I know. Okay. Um, what do you do for Camp Nightshade? I mean, my character should know that, but you know. I am Eye of Avedon, sent here as special a year ago to watch east parts of Camaria. Send your hands out for information, send to Avedon, get orders back. Ordinary way of things, yes? You've had orders from Avedon? Recently, but only recently. Before was silence from Avedon for a year. Had to direct down research. Very worrying. Hard to keep happy ha hard to keep happy attitude. Mm, do you need information now? Oh, almost always. You know me. Always asking, always busy. Svorgali are not lazy people. Sure, there is more you could do, given a spare moment. Uh, okay. Anything you're trying to learn right now? Hmm, right now I'm gathering and sorting and copying and collating what I have learned for the from last year. Things are happening. Must answer commands of Black Fortress. You will not be able to do this until you can leave camp, yes? I am sure the commander will give you permission soon. There are wolves to northeast of Camp Gate. Wander around, look at things. Odd behavior. Find out what is wrong with them. Let me know. What makes you think they are dangerous? Could mean hostile shamans near. Commanding them. Camarian raiders? Wildram rebels? 
Could be either. This new camp, not a good thing, no? What exactly should I do? Wolves seem distracted, confused, as if controlled from afar. Standard magical signs. Follow the wolves. Maybe you see a thing of value to know. Will I be paid? <laughs> of course. Is way of hand to be paid for risk and work. Is way of eye to have much to pay out. I don't wear scarabs, yes? No need. Okay. Aldoon's intelligence. Right. Technically our second quest, I suppose. Even though we did not get a quest pop-up for that for the main quest, as far as I remember. Okay, this is locked with uh, could be picked, but not with my current means. Right, this is the workshop. I did find that rusty key. Oh. A guard stops you when you try to enter the workshop. I'm sorry, Han. Commander Cerise doesn't want you to enter until she has spoken with you. Oh, and she wants to speak with you. The guard isn't a hand. You could easily shove him aside, but you decide not to cause trouble. It's been such a nice, quiet day. Yeah, also, that's not really my... Um, you know, the way I like to handle things. Too complicated to be picked. Too complicated... Ah, let's see, that's what the key was for. Ooh. Bolt flinger. I probably shouldn't shouldn't even mess with this stuff before I have some better equipment. Uh, screw that. Whoops. Wait. That's not. Oh yeah. I guess I changed that for the first game. Wait a second. Keyboard shortcuts. Uh, right. Quick save. One. Command F one. No. Just F one. Huh? What's up with that? I'm not pressing anything. Oh, wait, what? Command F1, that's weird. Huh. Quick load of Command F4. That's okay. Sure. We'll see if that works, actually. Instructions still F1. I guess I'm gonna put that to Command and pl uh, plus F2. Huh. Yeah, that's not working. What the hell? Ah, uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm just stupid. I mean, I still don't know what that command stuff is all about, but I just forgot to save. Derp. Uh, save the settings, that is. So now it works. Right. Um, yes. W cycles between uh, melee and ranged weapons still. We uh, also... Wait, what's that symbol that appears there? Huh. Um, the one of the biggest improvements really is that now it's not only is it going to display my the path my character is going to take, which is nice, um, but also is it uh, also it uh, displays how many how many points it's going to cost me. So no more counting steps, you know, counting tiles to to trying to determine how far I can move while still being able to attack and stuff like that. So that's really useful. Yeah, you know what? I'm just not gonna bother putting down a turret or something. These things are actually pretty easy. I'm gonna quickly go out of combat here and out of line of sight of the enemy to regen. That's still working the same way. Hmm, I think there was something about... Actually, you know what? I want to put down this thing just to see if... Yeah, okay, so vitality is now much lower, or rather stuff takes a lot more vitality to... Um, to cast or to use. But it also regenerates, which is very different from uh, how it worked in the first game. Nice. Flint and steel, I wonder if that's something I need ever. Wait, what did I do? Oh, pressed the wrong button. Do not want to sell that. Not yet, anyway. So that's our first real equipment upgrade. Real nice. 
Ooh, uh, wait, no, never mind. Gonna take these gloves for 2% armor, yay. Um, already have the tunic. It's also not worth anything. I'm assuming that new party members that we are going to get at some point will come equipped with something equivalent, uh, of equivalent quality. So that, that was neat. Okay, what else can I do? This is the underground cells. Oh yeah, there's a, a hatch there in the floor, in the ground. This is the keeper's hall. Oh, interesting. Nobody comes back here when they can avoid it. This is the Keeper's Hall. Every Abaddon outpost has one, in case the Keeper has to visit. This Keeper's Hall has never ever been used. It is locked up and nobody is allowed in. Okay. Keep alert. I'm assuming... yeah. Doors are chained shut. Except for cleaning every few years, nobody is allowed into the Keeper's Hall. Security reasons. They don't want anyone slipping in and, and placing traps. That seems reasonable. Okay, we got some um, body of water here inside our base. Holding cells, warning. Why? This trapdoor leads down to the holding cells. Prisoners and captured specimens are stored down here. Guards hate to go down there. Sometimes the specimens escape. You think it would be a good idea to return later. The commander will want to see you without delay. Okay, gotcha. So either I'm gonna get sent down there on my first assignment or. Uh, actually, I don't think I will, but I will be sent there eventually, that's for sure. Hmm. Okay, this is closed. Oh, you pass the stream and approach the main entrance of Camp Nightshade. As usual, it is quite underpopulated and intense. Your camp has much terrain to control, and few resources to do it. It's a pretty serious place. You take your familiar walk to the commander's office to get your guidance. Most of the facilities are burrowed into the walls of this remote ravine. The commander is in the moldy warren to the southwest as the map clearly tells, tells me, but thanks anyway. Chest. With nothing good inside. Damn it. This is the smithy. Hmm. You know what, while I'm here, no need to really postpone the inevitable, as it were. Let's get this, uh, this talk out of the way. Oh there, nice hat. As part of your routine, you approach the desk of Commander Cerise. Like most of the warriors here, she is a soldier of the pack, not a full hand of Abaddon. Wounds from past battles limit her ability to stray far from the camp. As you approach, she is making notes on a scroll with her right hand. Her left hand was burned into a claw by a spell years before, though this has not hampered her leadership skills or her ability to cast powerful magic herself. She consults her scroll as you approach. Ah, Ayali. Yes, I have, gu I have guidance for you. Urgent. Unusual. She seems even more nervous than usual today. You seem ill at ease. Cerise leans back into her seat, sighs, and looks across at, across at you. It is difficult to command a fort when all of your hands are not under my command. You are... Uh, when all of your hands are not under my command. You are above the law. My law. But that is not why I am nervous. Something is going on. What is happening? I'm getting messages from Avedon. New hands are coming. I'm getting orders. I'm warning you, you should be prepared for action. Okay. Um, I'd like to know more about you? Uh, I mean, it really doesn't seem like the right time to ask her about herself. But I guess, for the sake of learning a bit more about the characters and backstory. I am a mage from the Kellum. I joined the army to protect the pact. I was good at my job. Redbeard heard of me. He decided that I would serve here. Be useful. Useful how? She looks at her ruined hand. Sometimes I fight. Mostly I create a base for you, so you don't have to worry about the petty details of, light, of life. Then you can go out and do your harsh work. I also give guidance when there are no fresh orders from Avedon. Why did she not become a hand? She doesn't need to think about it. I wasn't willing to take on... I wasn't willing to take on the responsibility. I like the comfort of getting orders. 
I don't want to make all the grim choices hands have to do. How do you decide what guidance to give? Avedon wants the pack to be strong and stable. I do too. I look around and see what could make Avedon stronger. Then I make suggestions. Guidance. What would happen if I didn't follow your guidance? Nothing, I suppose. You are a hand of Avedon. Your word is law, as they always say. She sounds tired. She's given this little speech, this little speech to many young hands before you. However, I am here because the Keeper of Avedon trusts me. If you ignore my advice and something goes wrong, you have to answer to your harsh master. I find this provides the hands great motivation to respect me. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'm not planning to not follow your guidance. I mean, I guess I'll have to wait and see what guidance I would be. Speaking of which, what do you have for me? Ceres shudders. Serious guidance. The sword it might be unwise to, to neglect. The gaze of Avedon is on us. We have received word from the Black Fortress. Two new hands have arrived. You have an actual message from Avedon? Yes, for the first time in months. <laughs> Me? I'm nervous. You? You should be afraid. Who are the new hands? Their names are Nathalie and Botan. Ah, Nathalie. Yeah, I thought I remembered her. I mean, I do remember her from the first game, but... Uh, I have played this this part of the game up until, I don't know, not very far. Uh, in a kind of first impression video that's up on my channel somewhere. I guess at this point there's no need to watch that, because you can just watch the actual Let's Play. But yeah, I skipped most, uh, actually, all of the dialogue there and didn't really look at anything too closely to in order to avoid spoilers for myself as, as uh, far as that was possible. But yeah, I did see Nathalie, and uh, hmm, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe I didn't even see Kalita again. Huh. We'll see. Anyway, uh, Botan seems uh, doesn't sound familiar. Uh, so they are in the hand camp. Okay, this is a short walk to the east. I have barely spoken to them. They are as agitated as I am. They asked me to send you to speak with them before I give you more guidance. Please do so. I don't want any angry hands. I think you will be working together. Um, I have other questions. Right? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Uh to him, yeah. Gotcha. What's this? Uh, Linnaeus. Okay. Linnaeus. There it is. Here. Oh, I can actually open this. Oh. So the guard quarters. More lore. The Far Lands. Ooh, fine cloak. Yeah, I mean, whoever brought me this one, that's, that was awfully nice, but. Why don't I just take this fine cloak instead and drop the other one on the floor, I guess? Okay, too complicated. This one opens, hello. You're just guards. Okay, uh. Never mind. Ah, this must be and Kes what? Kasich? Kasich? Oh, there's Botan. Okay, this is the hand encampment. Oh, okay, so this this entire area is the, the hand camp. Gotcha. Every Avedon camp has one. This is where visiting hands rest, prepare their gear, and wait for new work. When outsiders want to hire hands to do whatever, it's good to have them in one place. It's been pretty empty for the last year. That is why you're surprised to see new hands here. A sorceress and a shadow walker. They are both absorbed in their work. Right. Botan the Shadow Walker and There's Nathalie. Okay. As usual, I am going to avoid the main objective for the time being, for as long as I can. And um, take a look around first. Okay, this is the Main entrance, probably? Hi, Nathalie. 
Ah, can I open this? Uh, is there uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I So, technically I should be allowed, or I would be allowed to leave whenever I please, but right now it would be uh, would be rude to do so. Hey, Trader I. This woman is neither a soldier nor a servant of Avedon. Very unusual for this camp. She is a merchant, standing by her wagon, eager to trade. Two guards stand here by board. They are no... There are no thieves here. You know her well. She is Trader I, the only traveling merchant who brings goods from the outside world to this remote camp. She waves you over, pointing proudly at the goods arranged on the blankets before you. Greetings, Ayali. It is an exciting time, is it not? Best to buy a few luxuries before you head out to the fight. Luxuries, huh? Well, I mean... I think I'm, I want to focus on uh, more useful stuff for the time being. Uh, any new, any new news from the road? Some. I hear things as I travel. The Camarians are still defiant, though they are only able to field an army to the west. The Wildram rebels are exhausted, but they show no signs of surrendering. Our conditions on the road. Very dangerous. I stick to the free roads, and then only when I am far from the land of the Wildram rebels. Sounds wise. Um, where do you get your supplies from? All over. It is a time of war. There are always desperate people willing to sell. Also, poor peasants offering uh, the arms they scavenge from battlefields. I buy things and bring them to you. This camp contains my best customers. Don't you worry about where the goods you sell came from? Uh, I mean... Why, why should she? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, of course, I never buy anything when I'm sure it would hurt my, ho my honor. Yet, how can I know? If someone sells a sword, who knows where it came from? Who owned it, if the owner is dead? I do what I can, but there are limits. Now, that's a pretty reasonable outlook. Or a reasonable approach, I should say. Uh, there anything you're looking for you can't get? So many things. The biggest loss is the herbs that grow only in Chimeria. To sell those, I need to find a source and get permission from a hand to trade with the Farlands. I would pay well for assistance, if only someone could spare the effort. She looks at you slyly. Well, good luck with that. I mean, maybe I can help you. Who knows? I had hoped that you would offer. I hear you may be traveling up to Cumeria soon. Just a rumor. If you go to Vanatok's stead, I have heard there is a shaman there. A young shaman, a skilled herbalist, studying arts the Cumerians reject. If she would agree to sell her herbs, I would reward you for the effort. Uh, tell me about this shaman. I work in a world of rumors and vagueness. If I knew more, I would tell you. Okay. Why do you need my permission, anyway? Stonewall beyond. We can't do anything to help the Farlands, especially in this time of war. I wouldn't risk it, not unless a hand made sure to vouch for me. Okay. I mean, if that makes it so you get an upgraded inventory of potions and stuff, maybe. I'm all for it. Also, experience, of course. Um, yeah, I want to trade Mel. No. Actually, let's quickly sell all that, what little we found. Right. I could buy some better armor. But my funds are very limited right now. I could buy a single lockpick. Even though it is slightly expensive. Yeah, I'm just not gonna buy anything for right now. Quartermaster... Um, Kasich and Okan. Well, let's talk to the smith first. Since before you arrived, Camp Nightshade's smithing, uh, smithing needs have been handed, handled by a burly Kva man named Okan. He nods as you approach. Busy times, Ayali. Needing anything today? Uh, anything you can just give me? Okan looks nervous for a moment, then he laughs. Oh, you're just kidding me. Hands have to pay their way. You can't just go around demanding things off as normal people. You wouldn't break the Keeper's laws, would you? No, of course not. I was just kidding. Damn it. Um, okay, so... Eh, I guess I might, might as well just look. Iron short sword... That looks... That icon looks different than what I'm using. But it seems to be the same kind of item. Um, this is definitely a new, a new item sprite, though.
uh, one that we haven't seen in the first games. Uh, I mean, in the previous games. Hand Carsage is sitting in the smithy, boots up on the table, carving a long piece of wood. You haven't spoken to him much in the few months since he was transferred here from the Qua. He's a shaman of the world realm. He's also grim, quiet, and slightly twitchy. Normally, when you are around him, he is deathly quiet. This time, he actually nods to you. Ayali, greetings. Um, greetings. Kasich nods. We haven't talked. We should. Things are changing. We hands must talk. We must be ready. What do you think will happen? A new offensive, I think. The heiress that feel. Maybe to knock Camaria out of the war? Would be all would be all to the good. Huh. If you say so. And Kasich sits and carves his piece of wood. It is still strange that he welcomes your com your company, and you suspect that this could change at any moment. What is it, Ayali? Um, how have you been faring? I am tired. That is why I was sent here. I am resting, getting ready for the next fights. There is some shame to this, but Acting Keeper Protus knows that hands must rest. Ah, Acting Keeper Protus, you say? Well, that's a name I'm familiar with. Um, where were you sent? Where, where, where were you sent here from? I served in the Qua, dry land, harsh laws, invaded by the Warborn. We don't know anything about yet, except that he's in the title, so he's probably kind of, you know, important. Regis, Titans, Ogres, mindless hordes, killing and killing and killing. Uh, do you know Acting Keeper Protus? Saw once briefly. After he was elevated and Redbeard was thrown out, he toured the camps. Came to Qua, I saw him. What did you think of him? I think he acts as Keeper. Can have me thrown into Abaddon dungeons with a word. Brain dead. Broken. Become trembly, little man. I think I keep opinions to myself. I think you should do the same. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Although Protus did seem like a pretty reasonable fellow when I am when I knew him. Uh, was there something else? Do you have any missions I could do? Cassage things. Hmm, I do, but things are in much disorder. Also, I don't think you can leave the camp. Come back to me when you can. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you're a shaman of the wild realm. I am. It is rare for soldiers of my calling to serve here, I know. This is my homeland, even rarer with the rebellion. Soldiers don't serve in their homelands? They do as little as possible. Soldiers of the pack serve in lands far from home. This brings the pack closer together. The Ram fights in Hogla In... Hogland? Shouldn't that be Hoglander? Qua fights with Kellum. We see others in pact as people, not distant strangers. It's a good plan, I think. Pity it seems to help little. Uh, what does rebellion have to do with it? Wildrun rebellion continues. Half of my people fight other half. Fight pact. Deal with farlands. Okay. Uh, have you had to fight Wildrun rebels? This is one grace granted to me. My good luck. I have never had to kill my own people. I dread the day when this must change. What do you think of the rebellion? It is a shameful thing. They throw away everything we have gained. For what? Clinging to old ways? Refusal to ever change? Our children die for the right to keep outsiders out and, ch and charge tolls on roads. The rebellion must end. It must not succeed. They have thrown away their duty. They must apologize and submit. Well, of course they would, they would uh, strongly disagree, but it does seem reasonable to me. Although, of course, there is something to be said about, you know, preserving your own, your traditional way of life. But uh, I really don't want to get too deep into that kind of moral this moral dilemma discussion. Although the game's, uh, the game is probably going to give me plenty of opportunity to do that, judging by the previous ones. Anyway, that's all for now. So, should try to remember to uh, revisit him, or visit him again uh, for a quest as soon as I'm free to go where I please. Hello, Sazi. Uh, you drop in on Quartermaster Sazi. The large, balding Quartermaster has the permanent ten of the Kva people. His rounded belly makes you suspect that he hasn't been out in the field in a while. His shaky, hands, uh, his shaky hand holds a pen. He makes tally marks on the parchment before him. A large ornate mug sits in easy reach. When he looks up at you, you can see dark circles under his eyes. Hello, Ayali. Another hand looking for, hand 
for handouts, you know you're not getting anything here. Um, why do you handshake? He holds his hands up, trying to show how steady they are. He fails. It's not polite to point out a man to point out a man's faults, but I will tell you my flaw came from honorable service. What service is that? He seems pleased, you ask. Two years fighting the Camarian raiders. Their warriors are tenacious scum. Fight to the death. We knew how to put them in their place. Why aren't you out there fighting? Lost two toes to frostbite during a winter patrol. We didn't have a shaman with us. It wasn't good for long marches anymore. Commander said I'd done enough out in the field. Uh, which is fair enough. Uh, can I trade with you? Need things repeated, do you? No trading here. Oh, okay. No trading at all. Uh, our supplies are for packed soldiers only. The packed, the packed, uh, what, no, the hens need to look out for themselves. Trader I, just outside, will gladly deal with you. Okay. Um, you look tired. Are you all right? His eyes narrow on you in distrust. Nothing that my medicine doesn't help. He takes a swig of the large mug beside him. I didn't realize beer counted as medicine. Ha! Huh, funny hand. Helps me sleep. Keeps the shakes down. I say it's good for whatever ails you. Say, I don't trade, but I'm looking for someone to collect some equipment for me. I pay in gear. Interested? Absolutely. What is it you need? Alchemical equipment. If you run into any intact pieces in your travels, I could use them. He draws you a sketch of what he wants. It looks like the sort of thing you'd find in any well-equipped alchemy lab. On second thought, no, it looks exactly like like a still. What? Um, what's the equipment for? I won't lie. I want to scavenge bits from them to finish my still. To make stronger medicine. And by that I mean, you know, liquor. It's been a real service for the camp. Oh, and don't tell Commander Cerise. Um, how would you making how would you making liquor be a service for the camp? Many of us here have seen and done too much. The morale of every soldier would improve if we could forget our troubles for a while. It'd be like an instant vacation from this endless war. He is convinced this is all very reasonable. It would also probably create discipline problems in camp. Hmm. Flooding the camp with liquor. I mean, hmm. You know what? Honestly, I I personally don't have a problem with that. So, yeah, sure. I'm gonna give him what he wants. Um, nice mug. What are you drinking? I mean, we already learned that he's drinking beer, but just for the sake of completeness. He takes a big swig and grins sardonically. My medicine. You smell the beer. Sazi's leisure activities are well known in the camp. Okay, and that's... Right. Sazi's still. Quartermaster... Bunch of alchemical equipment, okay. Hmm. So that's not very specific. I hope it's gonna be... I'm probably gonna find it in some sort of container. Proctus's letter. Huh, okay. Um, there. Hmm. This is actually quite interesting. So we're gonna take a look at that after the video. Hi there. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Lockpick. Almost missed it. Ah, Fleet and Steel is probably not something I really need to carry around, but... Oh well, for the time being I do have enough room. Also, I'm gonna take this bronze helm. Thank you very much. Mm, Emerald Greenstone I cannot use quite yet. Ah, you know what. Those are common enough items from what I've seen so far, that I don't need to clutter my inventory with them. Okie doke. So that leaves only Nathalie and Botan to talk to. Yeah, sure, Nathalie first. Uh, you meet one of the two hands who have just arrived at Camp Nightshade. 
She is a Callum mage. She's only slightly older than you, but she seems much older. Um, okay, so I... Wait, if she seems older, how do I know she is not actually older? Part of this is because of her wounds. She moves as if she has been in many battles. Her left arm bears a savage burn, very similar to the one Commander Ceres has. She points at the, char at the chair opposite from you. Uh, she looks at you when you sit, but she barely seems interested. Hello, are you the hand I will be helping? Sorry, I've been passed around so many hands, you see. Let's make the introductions. I am Nathalie. Commander Ceres told me to find you. Then you are Ayali. Ceres told me about you. She seems competent. She's also tormented by a wound like mine. I can sympathize. Anyway, I'm Nathalie. I'm a sorceress. I have a lot of experience. If you need my help, I am here. How did you burn your hand? Fighting a drake. A clever one which trapped me with a spell. It's a long story. It happened years ago. It's a very common wound for sorcerers in war, though. She holds out her hand before her. We always fight like this. Makes sense, yes? Anyway... Uh, wait, what? Oh, she hold, holds out her hands before her. We always fight like this. Makes sense, yes? Anyway, what do you want? So, you are a Hand of Evadon. I am. I have been since uh, well before the Age of Chaos. I have even served Redbeard directly. My record is strong. I do very well with what little I am allowed. How long have you been a Hand? I was accepted into the service of Evadon in 6312. That means she became a hand when still in her mid-teens, extremely young. As if she senses your thoughts, she says, I showed a lot of promise when I was very young. Don't worry, nobody thinks I have great potential anymore. Um, well, where have you served? I have been in every state of the pact and every far land. When I was in Evadon, they looked for an excuse to send me out again. I was training some recruits in Hawklander when I was told to come here. Who told you to come? The order was unsigned. It bore the seal of Evadon and told me to come here immediately. I did not question it. The training was boring me, so I was eager to leave. Um, what can you do for me? I can summon searing flames or cloud the minds of our foes. However, I function best at a distance. If some big warrior types aren't keeping the enemies away, you will find that I won't be very useful. Because I will be dead. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, wait, didn't want to ask that. Uh, okay, that's actually all there is. Right. Ooh, wait. Where's this chainmail? Oh, it's just on the ground. I didn't even stop to look at that. Huh, interesting. Why is there so much valuable stuff just lying around here. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but it does seem a bit weird. Hello, Botan. You meet another Hand of Ephedon. This young Shadow Walker sits cross-legged by the fire, sharpening his sword. He is still dirty from the road. He is very young. You were older when you began your training than he is now, but he already has the calm, tired demeanor of an experienced campaigner. In the Age of Chaos, when war has spread to every corner of the known lands, soldiers get jaded fast. He looks up at you and frowns. I don't know you, but you are a hand. Are you Ayali? You nod. I am Botan. Uh, Commander Ceres told me to find you. Ceres said you would come. He sets his blade to the side and motions for you to sit. He takes a sip of ale from one of the nearby bottles and motions for you to join him if you wish. She has given me her guidance. You may choose me or you may choose me or Nathalie to help. He nods at the sorceress at a sorceress sitting by a nearby fire. Yes, I mean, I already know her. Thanks. Uh, also, she's not sitting at a fire, but that's fine. Uh, this work will be ref a refreshing change. Um, what do you think of her guidance? She's not a hand. We don't have to do what she says. However, I will happily take her advice if I think it is wise. Right now, it is wise. Opening up that laboratory might be a very wise idea. He doesn't elaborate. Okay. Well, I have a strong uh, suspicion as to what laboratory he might be referring to. Uh, why is it a refreshing change? I would prefer to spend some time killing things that aren't begging me for mercy. It is more peaceful. Understandable. Uh, so, you are a hand of Evadon? I am. 
trained and tested in the field. How long have you been ahead? He confidently meets your gaze. Not long. A little less than two years. I came to Avedon after Redbeard was thrown out. Acting Keeper Protus selected me himself. Do not let my age concern you. I am fully trained and tested in the field. Uh, where have you served? Everywhere. I was based in Avedon and Keeper Protus used the portals to send me wherever assassination was required. I worked very hard. Then I was granted a brief rest period. Then I was diverted. Diverted? I had completed a mission and my commander told me to come here. I'm not sure why. I'm here now and eager to help. Okay. Uh, what can you do for me? I'm a shadow walker. I use my tools and weapons in battle. I am trained as an assassin. I slip, I slip in and kill quickly. If trapped, I escape and strike from smoke and shadows. Botan lifts his tunic. He wears armor underneath it. I do not shrink from a fight. However, I can't withstand direct battle as well as the blade masters can. If Cerise offers you my aid and you wish it, please come tell me. Okay. Uh, so that's all I need. All right. I suspect that will be s that I will be stationed here for some time. I think we st we will have some time to speak later. Uh, we will have time to speak later. For now, I sense that things are about to become very hectic. Before you can ask him to elaborate, he gra grabs a razor disc and sharpening stone and returns to work. The two new hands are in your roster. You can change your inventory when you're in, in an Avedon base. Now that you have spoken with them, you can return to Commander Ceres. Okay, thanks. Uh, in fact... Nice. He does come with a leather jerkin. But I am... I think I want to pick Nathalie to accompany me. I'm not really a bulky warrior type, but I guess for the first mission I should be good enough to... Um, can I do it? No, I cannot. Um, I should be good enough to keep enemies uh, away from her. Right. You already have an, a raise risk. I'm gonna with this and give this to you. Actually, you can use the chainmail. And her rope is actually better than this. Hmm. Right. Shadow walkers can't use... She can. Oh, she already had one. Whoops. Uh, let's sell this. Uh, push my battle, put in my hit hotbar, scroll of lightning. Uh, I will give to her. She's also going to hold on to some extra equipment. Add the runestone. Right. Or you know what? Eh. I'm gonna keep the equipment for now. But she's gonna have runestones and magical stuff and like stuff like that. Anyway, I think that should be good for now. Except do I Hmm. Well I've, I've met them. I think. I'm supposed to return to the to the commander for now. I think I wanna do that before I end this first episode. Might be a bit well it's already a bit longer than I'm typically going to go for. Oh, okay. I've never seen my character get stuck anywhere in the terrain, actually. In the first two games. I hope that's not something that's gonna happen more often this, in this engine. Uh, or in this updated version of the engine, I suppose. Um... Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna blackmail, or uh, I'm not gonna sell out Sazi here. Uh, I've spoken to Nathalie and Botan. Ceres nods. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. Now then, the message from Avedon was fairly simple. They want something. It seems like a simple thing, but that does not reassure me. Uh, what does Avedon want? They asked me to make sure that our magical workshop is open and cleaned out. It currently is not. This is Avedon's fort, so I'd rather send hands in there. Might be secrets, after all. I will have it unlocked for you. If you want to please your true masters, 
it would I would go in there and clear out any stray pests still alive in there. Oh, we have a magical workshop? Of course, all Abaddon outposts have them. It's been sealed up for a few years, but I've always known it would need to be cleaned up eventually. Why was it sealed up? One of Abaddon's eyes went in there about ten years ago to do some experiment or other. There was an explosion, then screams, then monsters. You know how these things go. Redbeard's protoc protocols were very clear in that case. We sealed it up. Now it has been unsealed. Can I keep anything I find? Ceres shrugs. Why not? It's your fort. Can anyone help me? Botan and Nathalie are at your disposal. They don't have much to do. One of them can help you clean the place out. Uh, why only one of them? Doesn't seem super necessary to only have one companion there, but oh well. Uh, when you're, uh huh? Yeah, okay. Gotcha. So I'm gonna, going to get to pick my companion as soon as I enter. Uh, oh yeah, it's up here. Wait, or do we? Ah, okay. Wow, well, this is weird. It's delayed pop up. I guess it's because technically uh, this map is uh, not exclusive to this to this part. So they made a trigger here. Um, then I would walk over instead of you know just making the just making the trigger um, get activated automatically upon entering anyway uh, you enter the workshop for the first time a proper magical labor laboratory is an expensive required component for all proper Avedon outposts this one alas is kind of in ruins yeah seems that way you've only heard rumors of what went wrong it happened over 10 years ago involved a hence exuberant experiment gone wrong and resulted in something unpleasant nobody wants to talk about the air is still silent and icy cold. The place seems unoccupied. This job might be easy. Uh, you're about to be attacked by a few pests. When they approach you, the game will enter combat mode. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically extended tutorial still. That's fine. Um, as I said though, I am going to end the episode here. And uh, we'll continue exploring, or, well, yeah, continue exploring this place and the... Uh, rest of this beginning area uh, next time. So, uh, I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.